Romania offers off-road enthusiasts great attractions. In Transylvania, we head out on a tour of the Carpathian Mountains with the two-time Austrian snowboard champion Martin Friedanemitz. As a rule, we stay strictly on the paths. We don't drive across meadows. If the weather is bad or if the conditions are too muddy and some of the roadways are impassable, then we focus on the rocky sections, in those areas where there aren't any meadows that you have to drive over. That is an absolute no-no. You just don't don't do that. We don't do that, and no one else should do it either. Our tour takes us into the Sindrel Mountains, sometimes called the Sibine Mountains. Martin Fridanemet chooses the route based on how vehicles are technically equipped. He would never dare take this route with a normal SUV equipped solely with all-wheel drive. His Toyota Land Cruiser is the real deal. It has gear reduction and switch-activated locking differentials. This Mercedes G500 SL is in no way inferior to the rough and tumble Land Cruiser. When in neutral, the gear reduction can be turned on with the push of a button. The three differential locks can only be activated in the following order, center, rear axle and front axle. When this is done, the control unit deactivates the ABS. I'm taking this section without using any of the locks, so I'll try to stay right in the pathway. And if I do that, we'll be able to master this section without a hitch. When exiting a deep trench diagonally, one wheel goes airborne and keeps spinning. Engaging the lock stops the individual drive shaft from spinning independently. Such obstacles are best surmounted by proceeding carefully at a nice, slow pace. If you hit the accelerator too vigorously, the vehicle will only lurch forward unnecessarily or become entrenched. That can lead you into quite a sticky situation. Yes, if the vehicle slides laterally, then one of two things will happen. If you can stop the vehicle without sliding further, stop it and take stock of the situation. But if you have to continue on to avoid getting in an even worse situation, then go ahead and hit the accelerator and countersteer accordingly to get yourself out of the situation. Martin Frenadamets has good contacts and is well informed about the conditions of the pathways. Our route today is dry and the traction is good, so we can take it easy on our equipment. Martin informs us early on when the terrain is about to get more difficult. You're going to have to be careful now, especially here where it's washed out a bit. Keep the tires up on the higher bits on the side. If they slip down in the middle, you'll be riding at too extreme an angle and might damage the higher skirting on the sides. So keep your tires on the higher side. Martin offers individual day tours for as little as 200 euros. Small groups can book a week-long tour, including lodging, for as little as 400 euros a person. Those who wish to explore the breathtaking landscape of the Carpathians on their own should definitely make sure they have a detailed and accurate map with them. In general, it's very difficult to get halfway decent maps in Romania. I myself have been looking for accurate maps for 10 years now. In some cases, we use military maps. This map, for example, is from the Transylvania Carpathians Club. Although it's quite old, it's pretty useful. You have to do a lot of information gathering. And if you head out on your own, you'll have to plan on turning back on yourself now and again. You have to make sure you're well equipped, i.e. pack all you may need to free your vehicle if you get stuck. A chainsaw is a must, as you never know when a tree could fall or when you have to get yourself out of a tricky situation. These paths aren't maintained in any way. Now and then, some farmer might put a few stones in a hole to fill it, but there isn't any organized maintenance of these paths. Our 
Off-roaders are still welcomed in Romania. The visitors don't just leave their money here, they also leave impressions with the locals. To ensure Romanians continue to be so hospitable in the future and that lots of roadways can still be freely traveled, visitors should take note of a few rules. Yes, I'm actually very surprised at how receptive the locals are to off-road tourists. They're glad when the people come and are very open, they're very warm-hearted, and I've yet to experience problems with any of the locals. Sure, you have to adhere to some rules, you should be accepting of the people here, and you should yield to them if need be. They certainly have it harder with their cattle carts than we do with our cars. As the organizer of the Romaniacs, a hardcore endurance competition, Martin Frinadamets knows the Romanian Carpathians like the back of his hand. He factors in his knowledge along with the theoretical capabilities of the vehicle and the practical expertise of the driver. The result is an enjoyable day with some small challenges that aren't too much to overcome. Well, I'd say you should definitely take these more difficult sections with the gear reduction activated. When things get critical, Martin gives us the advice we need to keep on moving, like over this steep section here. You got it, you got it. There you are. Fantastic. We highly recommend Martin Frinadamets as a guide for individual off-road tours. Stay tuned, you won't regret it. In the second part of the tour, we head out on our own and discover the German legacy in Transylvania.